Here in Tasmania, there's an average of one dead animal every three kilometers, making it the roadkill capital of Australia. This poor patamelon is one of the 30,000 killed every year on the roads. There's also 18,000 wallabies killed, 100,000 brush-tailed possums, and over 3,000 endangered Tasmanian devils. Not only is this destroying wildlife populations, but it adds up to over $5 million in damage every year. Clearly, roadkill is still a huge issue, but people at the Tasmanian Conservation Trust are trying to figure it out. If we can find fairly low cost solutions, and there are some, um, then we should implement them and try and save even the most common animals. Now, saving devils, that has really shifted the debate and people realise it's not just a animal welfare issue, losing common animals, it's that actually impacting upon the, the survival of a species. We may need to start doing better research to find out what our other priority species are. So as a driver on the roads, what can I do to help alleviate the problem? There's some really simple things that drivers can do that will actually have an immense impact. If you're driving in a country area where the limit is 80 kilometres and you drop your speed just down to 60 kilometres, you reduce by half the chance of killing an animal. And you only have to do that in certain places like tight bends where there's bushland, where there's creeks. What can local governments do to implement wider structural changes? One of the simple things that they can all do, starting tomorrow if they want to, is to get their workforces removing dead animals off the road. And if you don't have any dead animals on the road for very long, you reduce the chance of carnivores like devils going onto the road at all. If you can work out where animals are most likely to be on roadsides, slashing vegetation for a small area along the road edge will mean that that animal will be more visible to drivers. And so you have a chance of seeing that animal and breaking. At the moment, the state government gives you a manual for issuing driver's licences. Uh, that manual does not mention animals being on roads at all, let alone the significant impact that we can have on wildlife. After driving over 30,000 kilometres around Australia, I've seen my fair share of roadkill, and it's always heartbreaking. So whether you're on holiday, commuting for work, or just going out for a drive, Remember, please, for the sake of wildlife, slow down.